In this video, we'll look at capital structure arbitrage strategies involving bonds and CDS. And after that, we'll look at capital structure arbitrage strategies that involve equity and CDS. The CDS basis is the CDS spread minus the bond spread for the same issuer. In equilibrium, the CDS basis would be equals to zero, which means that the spreads in the CDS and the bonds should be the same. But in practice, uh, the CDS basis uh, can be positive or negative due to differences in market expectations between the participants and the, the differences in valuation. Now, if the CDS basis is negative, which means that the CDS spread is lower than the bond spread, then the strategy is to long the bonds and buy the CDS. And when the CDS basis is positive, we will short sell the bonds and sell the CDS. Now, to take a look at why the strategy is done in that way, let's say the CDS spread is uh, equals to, say, 100 basis points, and the bond spread is equals to 250 basis points. Now, we will expect this mispricing to converge towards zero. In other words, we'll expect the CDS spread to increase, and we'll expect the bond spread to decline. Now, coming from the bond spread, if the bond spread declines, then the yield to maturity will also decline. And that means we expect the bond price to increase. So therefore, the bonds are undervalued and the strategy would involve buying the bonds or taking a long position in the bonds. And for the CDS spread, when CDS spread increases, the buyer of the CDS will gain, given that there is higher credit risk implied in the CDS contract. So remember that the buyer of the protection will gain when there is higher credit risk. So the strategy would be to buy CDS. Now, on the other hand, if the CDS basis is positive, okay, the CDS spread is greater than the bond spread. So I'll keep the bond spread as 250 basis points. But now let's push the CDS spread to, say, uh, 400 basis points. Now, in this manner, uh, we'll expect the mispricing to disappear uh, or to converge to zero. So that means we we'll expect the CDS spread to decline and the bond spread to increase. So when the bond spread declines, the yield to maturity of the bond would increase and therefore the price will drop. So if you expect a drop in the bond price, okay, that means the bond is overvalued. So we should short sell the bonds. And when the CDS spread declines, there is lower credit risk. So the seller of the CDS will gain in this case. So the strategy is to sell CDS. So think about how you would benefit from the changes in the spreads in the CDS and also the bond. Now, in the same way, if the capital structure arbitrage involves the CDS spread and the implied credit spread, which is calculated using the Merton model or the structural model. So this implied means that this is based on the equity value. So if the CDS spread is greater than the implied credit spread, then the strategy is to sell CDS and short equities. So logic is about the same as how we did it for the CDS and bonds. So we expect the mispricing to converge to zero. For example, if the CDS spread is 300 basis points and the implied credit spread is 200 basis points, okay, we'll expect the CDS spread to decline and the implied credit spread to increase. When the CDS spread declines, the one who will benefit in this case is the seller of the CDS. So that's why we sell CDS to benefit. And when the implied credit spread increases, okay, that means we are expecting the equity value to drop. That means equity is overvalued. So we will have to short equities. So the implied credit spread affects the equity value. Now, if the CDS spread is lower than the implied credit spread, take for example, the CDS spread is still 300 basis points, but the implied credit spread is now 400 basis points. We'll expect the CDS spread to increase. Okay, and that means the buyer of the CDS will gain. Hence, we buy CDS. And for the implied credit spread, we'll expect it to drop. When the implied credit spread drops, we'll expect the equity value to increase. So that means equities are undervalued. We should buy equities. So think about convergence. Okay, Think about the mispricing converging towards zero. Okay, That would be an easy way to remember and to understand the strategy.